Hi guys, welcome in. We were kindly invited to the kingdom of upcycling king. <laughs> So all of that was made out of trash by this amazing human being. Hi guys, my name is Margarita and welcome back to my channel where we talk about sustainability and nature connection. In this video, we're going to talk about art, but not just any type of art, about art that is made with trash. What is the point of it and who does it? We're also going to visit an incredible Brazilian artist who dedicated his whole life to this unique style of art. So let's get straight into it. Let's do it. We've all heard that one man's trash is another man's treasure, but that saying takes on a completely different meaning when we view the world through the eyes of artists that create art literally from trash. Recycled art is a specific type of creative work made from discarded materials. This could be anything from old plastic toys, bottles, cans, tires, or scraps of clothing and wood. Artists who specialize in recycled art will literally turn our trash into treasure, fit to be exhibited for hundreds or even thousands of viewers. Today we're visiting one artist like that, Wilson Alexandre, Brazilian artist from Rio de Janeiro, who now lives in Peniche, Portugal. Right now we are in a very exciting place. This is like an upcycling paradise. We're visiting Wilson, who is an incredible artist. He even created trash art piece for Rio de Janeiro festival. He's a self-taught artist and keen surfer with a passion for the sea, nature and vibrant colors. Wilson spent his whole life creating trash art and transforming abandoned sites into vibrant spaces full of recycled art. We managed to visit both his work inside that looked like a complete maze full of weird things, interesting and unusual materials and also his house, the coolest and the most colorful place in town. Why do you think it is important for people to see how you can turn trash into something either beautiful or something that you can use again? What is the importance of that? Uh, I think it's important to utilize materials mm -hmm. for create something or building something. Hi guys, welcome in. We were kindly invited to the kingdom of upcycling king. <laughs> Wilson's kids must be the happiest children in this town, with all these sculptures to climb and explore, waves, robots that you can climb in and out. And I, of course, made sure to investigate all possible corners of those structures as well. And it was a lot of fun. So all of that was made out of trash by this amazing human being. Even the foam on the wave was made from discarded spray bottles that Wilson found in the trash. When we came for a visit, Wilson was busy working on a huge wave that he was planning to make out of plastic bottles. And here we have first part of 3,000 plastic bottles that were collected during the plastic hike that Andreas and his team did from all across Portugal. And now it's all gonna be turned into art. Pretty amazing, huh? By the way, you can also check out our previous video about Andreas to learn more about his story and his mission and how he is planning to help the world and environment. And by the way, would that be a good moment to remind you to subscribe to the channel and also like this video while you're on it. Thank you! This piece will be part of the art exhibition in Lisbon that raises awareness about the current situation with pollution in the world. Just like us, our waste deserves a second chance. And upcycling has led to the race of the artistic 
artistic movement known as recycled art. As a score, recycled art is about repurposing materials and nature conservation. And the underlying message behind all recycled art isn't the title itself, recycle. This concept, however, goes beyond the conventional recycling of materials by creating objects that exceed the economic, cultural and social value of the original product. It creates something completely new, unexpected and useful in a different way. This movement is currently inspiring many artists around the world with its critical message regarding excessive consumption and environmental pollution. What sort of message do you get when looking at trash art? How do you feel? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Trash art has a very important mission. We see the human impact presented in front of us. Sometimes beautiful, sometimes ugly, sometimes it makes us feel hopeful and dreadful, questioning where all this trash is coming from. And sometimes hopeful and optimistic that trash is not the end material, that repurposing and turning waste into something new, something beautiful and useful is an incredible way, not only to tackle the pollution crisis, but also to raise awareness and to make a statement. Spending time cleaning around you, finding usefulness in otherwise discarded materials is cool and more people should be doing that. Saving the planet isn't just for superheroes anymore. Every person in the world can do it, armed with nothing but a plastic water bottle and some glue. If you want to try yourself in recycled art, all you have to do is look around you with a creative and non-judgmental eye. You might even want to visit a junkyard and don't overlook the value of hanging out at thrift stores, flea markets and yard sales. Whether you choose to recycle for fun, play, art or environmental preservation, there is plenty to be done with the rising piles of garbage our society throws out every single day. Just do a little bit of research and digging and let your inner child out to play. You might be surprised to see the outcome and the real value in some of the items that you might create, redesign or repurpose. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Subscribe to my channel and click bell button to receive notifications about my upcoming videos because we have a lot of interesting and unique environmental content coming out your way. And by the way, if you have any ideas or suggestions about people, projects or businesses that have any type of environmental focus, please let us know. You can let us know in the comments below or using an email in the description box. Thank you for watching and I see you next week. Bye!